What's going on today guys? In this channel I discuss landscape photography education in New Brunswick exploration, but you more than likely clicked on this video to figure out how you can edit your Lightroom identity plate. This is the little logo in the top left of your Lightroom catalog. You can customize this to be whatever you want. You can change the text, the color, um, any graphic you can put in there. So in this video, I'm just gonna really quickly show you guys how you can do that. It's pretty easy. So the first thing we gotta discuss is the size of this little graphic. It's kind of weird. I don't know how they actually place the graphic in there. I don't know what they use to size it. It seems so ambiguous. I found that 60 pixels high high actually worked out the best. I'm going to get more into that later on in the video, but it appears that you should start with about 60 pixels. It's weird how this program is such a powerful program for resizing images, but when it comes to adding this little identity plate, it's just absolutely shit. So it's kind of funny how Adobe has this technology, but they're, they're really lacking in this little identity plate here. So I created this identity plate or custom logo right in Photoshop. Uh, you guys can create it in whatever you want. You just gotta make sure that it's 60 pixels high and then the length is, is quite a bit. I don't even know how wide you can make it. I just went with my logo and some simple text. I thought that looked uh, kind of more professional rather than something creative. And feel free to get as creative as you want. You could inlay images, I think, in there. As long as they fit in that little box, then you're good to go. So as you can see here, my image size for this, the height of it is 60 pixels. And I just went with 500 width, but I have no idea how wide the total space is. It might be something like 10,000 pixels, I'm not sure, but I went with 60 high and 50 wide, and you should, you should start with something like that. So once you have that saved and created as a PNG file, you can jump right back into Lightroom here. It's just as simple as right clicking over the identity plate. It says edit identity plate. It'll open up this box and you want to click use a graphical identity plate rather than use stylized text. If you want, you can just use text there. But today we're using the, the graphical identity plate. So go ahead and locate the file. So as you can see here, I started with I started with a logo that was something like 45 pixels and it was just too small to see. So then I went up to 90 pixels and then that kind of got cropped in the lower portion here. So I really don't know how they size or move the images, but once you have the file saved, I'd recommend just exporting different pixel sizes and, and it'll move to where you want it. But for me, I went with 60 pixels high. And as you can see, when I put that in there, it fits quite nicely. Also in this dialog box, you can choose the size of your tabs up here at the top. For some reason, the default is something like 14 pixels and it's just, it's so small, you can't even see it. So I bumped that up to like 24 at least just so it actually fits and looks pretty nice there. But, but yeah, that's basically how you do it. You just create the logo. It's something like 60 pixels high for however wide you wanna make it and then you just right click, edit identity plate, and then just choose that file. If you guys are into landscape photography, then consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will definitely get back to them. Thank you guys so much for your time and tuning in. Don't know what to say in the outro.